The Deepwater Railway and the Tidewater Railway were joined in 1907 to form the Virginian Railway, a line reaching from Deepwater, West Virginia to Sewell's Point on Chesapeake Bay. The Lamar Colliery at Herndon, West Virginia was one of the sources for the Virginian's major cargo, coal. The Virginian name remained in existence for 52 years until 1959 when the road was merged into the Norfolk and Western. Herein, we'll show you some action on the original Virginian between the years of 1949 and 1956 and start off with alternating current powered locomotives on the electrified Roanoke to Mullins segment of a line. August 18, 1952, sees extra 125 eastbound, rolling between Herndon and Covell. Number 125 was constructed by General Electric in 1948 and consisted of a pair of permanently coupled units with 16 motors generating 6,800 horsepower. The Virginian had three more of these class EL2Bs, numbers 126, 127, and 128. Extra 125 continues east, rolling over the high bridges at Covell and Garwood. The same day in 1952, we see unit number 106 powering a coal train in the same area. Classed as EL3As and known as squareheads, the road had 12 of these semi-permanently coupled trios, numbers 100 through 111. Each unit of the trio had two motors, each driving two pair of drivers through jack shafts and side rods. Built by Alco Westinghouse in 1925 and 1926, these engines developed 7,125 horsepower, but were limited to a maximum speed of 28 miles per hour. Extra 103 rolls eastbound at milepost 370 near Alpaca on July 27, 1949. August 2nd, 1950 finds another eastbound, extra 125 at Yellow Sulphur Tunnel near Merrimack. Later that same day, extra 126 takes train orders on the fly at Merrimack Station. On August 23, 1951, Extra 127 East rolls over the trestle at Glenvar, soon to arrive at Roanoke a few miles beyond. Same date, an extra 126 east passes extra 110 east in the hole at Coomas, Virginia.
Unit 110 rolls by with a local freight at Pembroke, Virginia on August 2nd, 1950. July 30th, 1952, the Norfolk and Western Class Y6, number 2152, pulls a westbound freight while Virginian Extra 125 East passes over the skewed truss bridge at Singer near Glenvar. We'll take a last look at a couple of the square heads at Roanoke on August 22, 1951. and some last shots of Streamliners 125 and 126. August 3rd, 1950, Mullins Tunnel. Blasting out of the portal are double-headed numbers 729 and 730. These 2882s were built in 1923, and while number 730 remained a class USB throughout its life until scrapped in 1954, number 729 was rebuilt in 1936 and reclassified USC. Another 2882, number 703, helps out on the rear. This unit was originally built as a Class USA in 1919, but was rebuilt in 1947, emerging from the Princeton shops as a Class USD. August 3rd, 1950 again, and another USD, formerly USA, number 702, rolls an eastbound coal train through Mullins. Looking down from the top of Mill Mountain overlooking the Virginian's Roanoke Yard, it's August 22, 1951, and we'll move down a little closer to watch 080 switcher number 241 work the yard. This unit, as well as number 240 coming up next, was originally built by Lima for the Chesapeake and Ohio as class C-16 in 1942 and purchased by the Virginian in 1950.
August 22, 1951. Steam Crane B7 works the car shop at Roanoke. Milepost 196 near Alta Vista on August 21st, 1951, and rounding the curve is class AG number 900 on an extra eastbound. This massive 2666 articulated was one of the eight built by Lama in 1945 and was nearly identical to the Alleghenies built for the Chesapeake and Ohio. Same time and place, class MC 282 Mikado number 469 on an eastbound local, followed by class MCA number 480 on another eastbound. Class BA-284, number 505, powers an eastbound extra at Kilby, Virginia on April 7, 1951. Built by Lima in 1946, she was one of only five owned by the Virginian. August 21, 1951 again at Alta Vista. Westbound number three is headed up by Class PA-462, number 212, a 1920 vintage Richmond Works product. Extra 904 East coming up at Kilby again on the 7th of April, 1951. July 11th, 1950, west of Kilby, finds AG number 907 powering a westbound extra. Extra 907 west again, this time near Abbey's. Class MB Mikado number 421 heads up a westbound extra at Coleman on September 4, 1949. She was built by Baldwin in 1909 and remained in existence until May of 1953. Class MCA 282 Mikado number 484 hauls a local freight at Verso on February 1, 1953. Originally built as number 463, a class MC by Baldwin in 1912, she was modified to an MCA and renumbered 484 in May of 1941, and lasted until April of 1955. November 16, 1951, finds class MB Mike number 446 with a transfer near Sewell's Point. There were a total of 42 MBs, numbers 420 through 461, built by Baldwin in 1909 and 1910.
Class PA Pacific number 310 works an extra freight near Kilby on April 15, 1951. April 7, 1951, Mikado number 484 is again seen, this time on a local freight again near Kilby. One of the road's many MBs, number 432, approaches with a work train near Herndon, West Virginia on August 8, 1952. Richmond Works 1920 build class PA number 214 heads up train number four near Sewell's Point on July 28, 1951. Her sister, number 215, rolls train number three near Kilby on April 7, 1951. August 24, 1951 at Kumas. Train number three again, this time powered by PA number 213. Train number three at Merrimack, Virginia on July 25, 1951 with 213 again on the point. Mikado 446 powers a Navy personnel transfer near Norfolk's Tidewater Junction on November 17, 1951. Pacific number 210 leads train number 4 on April 7, 1951 near Kilby. Another November 17, 1951 Navy personnel transfer at Tidewater Junction. This one pulled by Mike 448. June 11, 1950 finds PA number 214 on train number 4 near the Elizabeth Rivers East Branch Bridge near Norfolk. Train number four again, this time powered by PA number 215 on September 3rd, 1949, and at the South Branch Bridge. Same day in train at Tidewater Junction. Number 211 heads up number 4 at Glenvar on August 23, 1951. Hales Gap Tunnel on August 2, 1950 finds 211 again on another train number 4. PA 213 powered number four passes over the steel trestle at Oakvale on July 25, 1949.
number 212 steams through Abbey's at night with train number four. April 7, 1951, locomotive number 214 rolls through Algren, Virginia at 55 miles per hour. Heron, Virginia, March 12, 1955. Number four runs by, headed up by PA number 215. August 10, 1955, number 210 on number four at Nutbush. January 15, 1956, finds PA 215 rolling train number three through Verso. Later on that day, number 210 brings along number four. January 29, 1956 was the day of train number three and four's final runs, and we're at Verso, where eastbound number four comes by first, seemingly racing with a Y-class articulated on the paralleling Norfolk and Western rails. Following shortly thereafter is the last number three, powered by 462 number 212. This engine would exist four more years finally being scrapped in January 1960. Class SA 080 switcher number four rolls by at Kilby on April 7th, 1951. Somehow she managed to survive the scrapper's torch and today resides on display at the Transportation Museum in Roanoke. Unfortunately, Class EA 440 number 295 did not survive and is seen static at Princeton on August 17, 1952, only one year prior to being cut up.